Octonauts to your stations. The Octonauts and the Sardine School. Come in, Quasi. Have you collected those seaweed samples? Aye, Captain. And I'm heading back to the Octopod right now. Huh? Shiver. Whiskers. I thought I was a hotshot pilot, but these little fishies put me to shame. Octonauts, can you see this? They're sardines, Quasi. Sardines always travel together in a school. But how do they all stay together? The scales on sardines' skin help them feel when other sardines are near them. That's how they stay together when they move. Yeah, a triple curly cue with a half bike squiggle. I've got to try that. Quasi out! Now I'm going to show these little fishies some moves of my own. Ha-ha! <laughs> Get a load of that! A super fast foot turn with a backwards loop? Not bad. <laughs> hey, I topped that! You're on! Backwards roll over with a one-and-a-half inward split! <laughs> you swim almost as well as a sardine. You're not too shabby yourself for a little flipper-flapper. The name's Dina. Quasi. Maybe we'll have a rematch someday. You're on. Well, better get back to my school before they... Uh -oh. Did you lose your school? Well, I'll be glad to help you find them. No, thanks. I'm sure they didn't go too far. Bye, Quasi. Bye, Dina. Be careful, matey. Mmm, lunch is served. Ugh! Not so fast, ye scurvy shark! Oh, no, lunch is cancelled. Oh, thanks, Quasi. I guess it's not so safe out here without my school. They say there's safety in numbers. True. That's why we sardines always travel in large schools. Then, when a fish who wants to eat us shows up, we swim in lots of different directions so it doesn't know who to follow. Clever. There's only one of me, but I'd be happy to take you safely to your school. That's very nice of you. Fast. There they are now. I know a shortcut through this old shipwreck. What happened? I'm caught in this old fishnet. Are you hurt, Quasi? Nah, I just bumped my head. Don't you worry, I'll get myself out of this mess. Yeah, stuck. Maybe I could chew through the ropes. No, Dina, you go on ahead or you'll lose your school again. Nope. You didn't abandon me when I needed help. I'm staying here with you till I know you're okay. You're a brave lass, Dina, and a good friend. I'd better call the Octopod. What's wrong, Quasi? Well, I hit me head, the gup is trapped, and a little sardine is in danger because she lost her school. Other than that, everything's fine. Hiya! Sounds like you need a hand. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've got an emergency rescue, first aid, lost sardine situation. Uh -huh. Oh, I'll explain on the way. Tweak into the gup D. Peso into the gup E. 
Okay, right Captain. Right-o, Captain. Dashy, open the octo hatch. I'm on it, Captain. Fuzzy, your school is here. Hi, you could call them that. How's your head, Quasi? Do you feel dizzy? Sleepy? How many fingers am I holding up? That's a trick question. You don't have any fingers. Great. You don't seem hurt, but I'm still going to check you over as soon as I can get in there. That's where I come in. Thanks, everybody. But where are me manners? Octonauts, meet my new friend, Dina. Dina, Octonauts. Hi, everybody. Sorry if I caused any trouble. Nonsense. The Octonauts are always happy to help. Quasi, which way was the sardine school heading? They went that away, but they could be anywhere by now. Barnacles to Shellington. We've lost track of the sardines. Is there anything that could help us find them again? Yes, Captain. I believe we can find the sardines by listening for their burping sound. Sardines burp? Actually, yes. Sardines and many other fish swallow air to help them stay afloat. But when they want to sink lower, they burp the air out again. Captain, you should be able to pick up the burping sound on the Gup's underwater microphone. Now, just listen and be very quiet. I don't suppose the sardines are taking a nap? No, that's just an elephant seal snoring. What's that, Shillington? That's just a crab clicking its claws. <coughs> ah, burping. Dashy, can you tell us where it's coming from? I'm on it, Captain. Straight ahead, near a coral reef. Then that's where we're heading. Barnacles out. Dina, we may have found your school. That's good news. Best be on your way, Dina. But I don't want to leave you here, Quasi. I'll be fine. On with my school, remember? And you need to be with yours. Go on now. Thanks, Quasi, for all your help. Anytime. Stay safe out there. Just follow me, Dina. The burping is getting louder. We must be getting close. Don't tell me seahorses burp too, Shellington. Uh, actually, lots of fish do, Captain. We must have picked up seahorse burps instead of sardine burps. What if my school is so far away we never find them? Captain, the burps you hear now are coming from somewhere above you. This could be your school, Dina. Let's go. You must be very close now. My school! I can feel them with the scales on my skin. There they are! Whoops! Almost forgot to say thank you! And please thank Quasi for me. Don't mention it, Dina. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Bye, Dina. I'll let Quasi know you're all right. Here you go, Quas. You're free! Come in, Quasi. We found Dina's school and she's safe and sound. That's happy news indeed, Captain. Everything looks good here. See you back at the Octopod. Mmm, breakfast, lunch and dinner is served. That shark looks hungry for sardines. I've got to help them. Oh, no! Uh, um. Hmm, they're swimming in different directions to confuse the shark. Uh-oh, more sharks. Looks like the sardines could use some backup. Calling all gups. Sardines in trouble. Octonauts, I don't know if I can hold them off by myself for much longer. You won't need to, Captain! Octonauts, 
Follow the sardine's lead. Swirl and confuse. Over here! This way! Catch me if you can! That way! Oh! Breakfast, lunch, and dinner cancelled. Hooray! Hooray! Quasi! I'm so glad you're okay! And I'm glad you're okay. I guess we both needed our schools to help us. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs>